challenges from exhibitionists and not asking you to fight, challenging you to fight. It's already begun to happen, hasn't it? Yes, it has. How do you deal with it? When I first learned martial arts, I too have challenged many established instructors. And of course, some other challenging me also. But what I have learned is that challenging means one thing. Is that what is your reaction to it? How does it get you? Now, if you are secure within yourself, you treat it very, very, very lightly because you ask yourself, now, am I really afraid of that man? Or is that man, do I have any doubt within me that he's going to get me? But if I do not have such doubt, and if I do not have such fear, I would certainly treat it very lightly, just as today the rain is going on strong, but tomorrow maybe the sun is going to come out again. I mean, it's like that type of a thing. Of course, they can't lose by challenging you. Even if they lose, they get the publicity of, of being a guy who actually fought. Well, let's face it. I mean, in Hong Kong, can you have a fight? I mean, a no hold bar fight. Is it, is it a legal thing? It is and isn't. And to me, you see, a lot of things, I mean, you know, like challenging and all that, it's, I am the last to know. I am always the last to know, man. I mean, I always find out from newspapers, from reporters, before I personally realize what the hell is happening. Bruce, you were teaching martial arts in the States, and yes. two, of your, two of your students were Steve McQueen and James Coburn. Did you find them uh, tough people, the way they're portrayed on the, on the screen? Well, first of all, James Coburn, definitely, is not a fighter. Lover, yes. <laughs> I mean, he's really a super nice guy. Uh, I mean, not only that, he's a very peaceful man. He learned martial arts because he finds that it is a very, very, it is like a mirror to reflect himself. You know what I mean? I mean, like, I personally believe that all type of knowledge, I don't care what it is, ultimately means self-knowledge. And that's what he is after. Now, Steve, Steve is very uptight. Steve is very high strung, you know. Now, Steve, he can be a very good martial artist. But I hope that martial art would cool him down a little bit. Maybe make him a little bit more mellow and uh, be more peaceful, like Jim. <laughs> Did it achieve that, his time with you? Did you feel that uh, perhaps he, he learned something from you? Uh, no, definitely not yet. First, because of shooting schedule and all that, I mean, he cannot have it on a regular basis. And secondly, he is still on the level right now of enjoying it as an excitement, like his motorcycle and his sports car, you know, some for release of his whatever, anger, whatever you name it. Bruce, uh, how much of your screen personality is really you? I mean, you teach martial arts, so you're obviously very good at it. But of course, teachers are not always the best exponents or practitioners. Right. Uh, are you able to take care of yourself, would you say? I will, ask, I will answer this, first of all, with a joke, if you don't mind. Oftentimes, people come up and say, hey, Bruce, are you really that good? I said, well, if I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> but, all right, going back to being truthful with you. Let's just put it this way. I have no fear of opponent in front of me. But I'm very self-sufficient that they do not bother me. And that should I fight, should I do anything, I have made up my mind and that's it, baby. You better kill me before. Bruce, in The Big Boss, you play a man who's very slow to anger. Yes. He's shy, diffident. Uh, you even stay out of fights in the early scenes because of a promise you made to your mother. Yes. Um, is that a little bit like you, or is this just a screen personality? Uh, this is definitely a screen personality because uh, as a person, one thing that I have definitely learned and, and my life, it seems like,